talking to Winfred about the new app they've got for the Z6. Is that right? Yeah, basically it's uh, for all our rifle scopes that we are offering. Uh, it's an additional service for our customers. For the ballistic turret? Yeah, for the ballistic turret as well as for the distance radicals. Right. It's, you are able to calculate your own personal distances for your loading and bullets that you're shooting. Right. And you're able to determine these distances uh, with our ballistic program. That sounds good. So can you run through how it Yeah, works? we're offering for iPhone, iPad and Android as well as uh, an online version and a Mac and a PC program. Here we are demonstrating it uh, uh, through the iPad app. Basically there are a few selections, a few settings in the beginning and you start, you step right into it uh, by choosing the scope you're using. So I go in and select uh, 2 to 12 by 50, select the radical that I'm shooting. Uh, if I wish I could change the side height so the mounted right above, yes. yeah, and the setting power but of course for distance shots we are recommending uh, the highest setting power of course yeah so next thing would be to choose the bullet and loading uh, the manufacturer I uh, take federal cartridge uh, 270 win yeah. uh, the types that you're shooting no the ballistic tip, tip and it's one uh, that's bullet great. that's left yep. for the selection. Uh, uh, the next thing uh, that I can do is to choose the field of activity. Uh, it contains uh, several settings. It's a zero range where I'm zeroing in my rifle. Yeah. So it's either 100 meters. Uh, some people are putting it on GE or whatever. Yep. Let's say 130. Most in the UK do like 100 yards or okay. 100 meters. Uh, um, then, if you're shooting in an angle, you could uh, set it here, yep. uh, and the corrected values would appear in the reticle. We're leaving it out for now, and you could choose a type of target that you're shooting at. So, let's say we are shooting on a road here. Here, uh, you could also change the atmospheric conditions because they, of course, influence uh, yes. uh, the bullet trajectory as well. Uh, and then we look at the reticle. So here we are. You see 130 meters. Uh, yep. In the center means 0 0.8 centimeters high at 100 meters. Yeah. Would be the same accordingly with yards. Uh, and these are the, the individual uh, distances for each bar of the reticle. So you see the second bar from bottom is at 430 meters. Yep. You can hold straight on. Uh, and by defining uh, on which kind of target we're shooting at, we have a range from 410 to 450 meters, which would all, always hit the lethal zone of the oh, game, all right? right? All in uh -huh. vital zone. Yeah. I see. Yeah. So this is a very simple way to t determine uh, uh, how far you shoot on an animal after measuring the distance. Yep. And the other, si the other uh, system for calculating or sh distance shooting is our ballistic turret. Yes. Uh, so this shows you how many clicks you need to go up. Right. Yeah. You just select the, the distances that you would like to shoot at or you sh you're mostly shooting at uh, and the program calculates what I've done at home. How, how many clicks you need on the ballistic turret yeah. so you screw it off take two clicks from the zero position set the green ring one more click set the yellow ring and seven more clicks set the uh, red ring and yep. then you have your personal setting on the ballistic what turret what for I've your done at specific home for Bullets, people yep. who come in the ranges. We start off at 100 and then have the different colors for 200, 250, so they yeah, right. And another option is a table. So you're just looking at the bullet itself, nothing to do with radical or ballistic turret, but you can just look at the uh, elevation loss drop of the bullet. Say at 300 meters, we have minus 30 centimeters, inches, yep. or accordingly, then inches. Uh, the loss of energy, loss of velocity, and if you wish, you could add some wind speed here from a certain angle and it shows you the centimeters. So this would all work on your phone in the shooting position when you were yep. out on you the field? You could also sit right. in the height yeah, yeah. and put it into your iPhone as well. Sounds very good. So you'd have to work with the range finder. Yeah, of, of course. Most likely use our ear range and measure the distances. Yeah. No. Getting more and more like a sniper than a shooter now, though. <laughs> yeah, it should be getting easier, actually. Getting yeah. easier. Yeah, very but, interesting. Yeah. yeah.
And this is available? This is available for free yeah. from the App Store and Android Market. All right. Uh, it's a service for our customers. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. That's bound to appeal to customers. Yeah. Thank you very much for showing me. You're very welcome. Thank you.